Hi guys, it's the Raw Mineral Goddess, and today I have another food DIY. So today what we are going to be making, or what I'm going to be making, because technically you can't make it with me right at the moment, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some Jello and Marshmallow tin wheels. That's one way to call them. I'm not sure what other way to call them, but... If you saw the thumbnail for this video, you would know what they look like. So, these are the things you'll need. You will need an 8x8 baking pan, some mini marshmallows, some jello, I'm just using some store-bought jello, and this is raspberry flavor, a spatula, a whisk, and a knife. It doesn't matter what size you use, but I would recommend using a small one because it is a lot easier to control. A measuring cup. This measuring cup just goes about, two, yeah, this measuring cup just goes to one cup and that's all you'll need. Some Pam non-stick spray. It doesn't have to be Pam, it just needs to be non-stick spray. Some sewing thread or some uh, pretty strong string to cut your rolls. And your plate to put all of your finishing little jello pinwheels on. Alright guys, first thing you're going to need to do is spray your baking pan with some nonstick spray. You're only going to have to spray a little bit, but spray it enough to cover some parts of the bottom and take a small paper towel to wipe most of this spray off and wipe it a little bit on the sides to make a really thin layer of the spray onto your baking pan. After that, just put that to the side and take out a bowl. Pour your jello mix into it, and after that, you could go ahead and pour half a cup of water into a bowl and mix it with your whisk or spoon. And then you're going to put your bowl into the microwave for one minute at the least. After that's done, you're going to take your bowl out of the microwave and mix it until all of your jello dust is dissolved. After everything is dissolved into your liquid form, Add one cup of mini marshmallows into the bowl and soak the marshmallows in the jello. After all your marshmallows are soaked, put the bowl back in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds or just until your marshmallows start to puff up, so just keep an eye on it. After your marshmallows are all puffed up and ready to go, whisk your marshmallows until they dissolve very, very thoroughly into a very easy and loose liquid form. Pour your mixture into the pan completely and take your spatula and go ahead and take all of the liquid as much as you can out of the bowl and into the pan and try and make it as even as possible. After everything's poured into the pan, put the pan in the refrigerator for at least 45 minutes to an hour to get steady and cooled. While it's in the refrigerator, the two items will separate so there will be pure jello on the bottom and the marshmallow will be on top. After your marshmallows are cooled and taken out of the refrigerator, use a knife to loosen the sides of the marshmallow and jello and gently use your hands or a spatula to roll your mixture or I guess you could just say solid now since it's all nice and solid. Take it out of the pan and roll it up like a cinnamon roll. Put it on a cutting board or plate and use your sewing thread to cut it like I am so. You're basically just going to fold it over the sides and bring it back around. After all of your little jello rolls have been cut with your sewing thread, place it on a nice little plate and give it a bite. These were small enough to be made for bite-sized pieces and I have to say they look pretty good too. Alright guys, 
guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I had a lot of fun making these, especially the part where I got to cut them and roll them up, but they are sticky so they'll stick. But here's what they look like. They look lighter on camera from what I saw, so they look more orange on camera than they do in real life. In real life they are red and then the marshmallow is more of an orange color. Um, this is my first time making these and I have to say that they look really good but some of them are thicker than the other and I used less marshmallow and they came out smaller than I thought they would but it's fine. But they are different sizes because of how I rolled it up and my pan was a little bit lopsided but here's a deformed one that I'm going to eat because it's deformed. It's actually really good. It's not too sweet, and it's not too jello-y, but it has like the perfect amount of marshmallow on it. <laughs> I think they taste pretty amazing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe because it means the world to me. Like, literally, it's like... It's just amazing because every time, even if I just get one more subscriber, I basically jump for joy. This is what I love to do and not cooking, but <laughs> not baking or cooking, but making videos. I love making videos. It's what I love to do and it just means so much to me when you guys love what I love to do, if that makes any sense. I hope it does, but I will be posting pictures of these on Instagram and Twitter. Please uh, tweet me some pictures, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you haven't already. But these are actually really good. They are much better than I thought they would turn out. But they are super easy, super fun to make. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. But I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.